Welcome to this unit on innovative assessment. In this course, we're going to look at how we can reinvent or gamify what we might think of as the tr traditional test. And also, I'm going to provide you with a range of sort of suggestions and examples of how we can create immersive assessments that achieve the same outcomes. To start off with, I want you to consider what is a test? What is the purpose of conducting a test, whether it's formative or summative? And if the same outcome can be achieved in another form, why would it be any more or less valuable? An example of this is what I like to call the 1x25 versus the 5x5. The analogy is to think of comparing Lord of the Rings to binging something on, say, Netflix. People are much more inclined these days to binge a series that has a 30 to 40 minute episode, and they'll sit down and they'll watch a bulk amount of them back to back because they're broken up. They may then tomorrow come back and watch a few more, as opposed to something like Lord of the Rings, where you've got this three hour marathon just to get through one. It's much less um, appealing to the audience. So we can do the same thing with a test. Rather than having one test at the end of a topic with 25, 30, however many questions we put in it, we can do five tests throughout the unit of five questions. This at first might seem like it's creating more work, but if you consider how much time you would spend marking a big traditional test, you might spend a couple of hours getting through a class of 28 kids with 25 questions. That's a really large amount of time. On top of that, a lot of people find that they want to be in the zone. They want to sit down, not have any distractions, and have a large chunk of time to knock out the marking without breaking it up. That's really difficult in our job. So being out of do small sections like a five by five, it's very quick to mark and you can do it more sporadically when you've got 10 minutes to spare, you could probably get through a large amount of the class in 10 minutes. So what we're doing is we're really giving regular ongoing feedback to the students on their progress rather than getting through an entire unit, then assessing and going, okay, well you didn't get that. Or yes, you did. Obviously we're gonna have formative along the way and that's its purpose. But if we're doing things like this, a five by five, it to some degree eliminates the need for that formative because we're delivering regular ongoing feedback for the students to reflect on. So we could do this as, um, it could be a three by five, it could be a three by three, it doesn't matter. The number is just arbitrary, but having lots of smaller assessments throughout the unit can be more beneficial for the students, easier for the teacher to mark, and gives you more regular feedback. You may also then say, well, if we do a five by five, for example, we're not really assessing their understanding, we're assessing their short term memory. If we just cover a short subtopic and then we assess it, then we're really not testing their understanding. If you consider the flip of doing a one by 25, think about the time that you invest in this. You would spend time revising. So you would have a lesson or two for revision. The students would have homework revision. And on top of that, I would say if you do a regular one by 25 test, for example, Come back maybe a term later, maybe even three weeks, and ask your students the same questions, give them the same test, and I would be willing to bet that they would not do nearly as well. Because really, even in a 1x25 test, we're assessing short-term memory. We're not really assessing that true retention and understanding. However, in a 5x5 five five style, we can keep bringing up the same questions. Not exactly the same, but we can gradually increase the complexity as we go through so that we're getting repeat exposure to key concepts, and we can tweak what the questions are asking because we've now got more freedom to have application style questions, have um, abstract questions, to have that transfer learning demonstration demonstrated through the students because of the fact that it's a five by five. We've got more freedom to do that and they can easily redeem. So we're gonna have a much better snapshot of the students understanding their um, engagement in the unit and their progress over a five by five than we do from a single assessment task. 